everybody, so this is an uh, introductory video on a series of tutorial videos I'll be making on how to uh, uh, create custom ground polygons, also known as custom taxiways and or runways for your airports in Flight Simulator. Uh, these really uh, give a sense of realism to your airports. They're much more detailed. <laughs> if, they could, if they work out correctly, they're actually much more detailed than the default ones. Uh, you can get rid of that hard edge on those default, like that, like there is on the edge of those default taxiways, and you can break up the edge and fade it out. It's really cool. I'll be covering all that. So first things first, you need to go to TurboSquid.com. There you can find the, the free download to GMAX. If you don't have it installed already, do that. Uh, make sure you run the installer as administrator just to make sure it installs correctly. Uh, after that, you need to install the FSX GMAX game pack, which you can find over at FS Developer, or at least how to install it. You can find it over there on fsdeveloper.com. Of course, I'll be linking to everything in the description. Um, and while you're at it, you might want to check out this cool unit user interface customization done by Osman1997. I just came across this. It's pretty cool. Uh, it makes it look like uh, GMAX is um, Big Brother 3DS Max. Uh, and I think also, I think the key mappings are kind of uh, closer to 3DS too. Um, but anyhow, yeah, it's pretty cool. Check that out if you like. Um, aside from that, uh, before I actually get into watching the videos, um, you may want to uh, read a couple tutorials. And again, that'll be in the description. Everything will be. Um, uh, they'll just give you kind of a quick back, or at least a background on this before actually you get into what I'm going to cover and so that way you're not quite so new to all of it. So actually what will I be covering in all this? Well first of all I'll be jumping into GMAX. Um, I'll be creating just the uh, geometry. It's actually just uh, <laughs> everything's 2D and creating taxiways. No 3D in <laughs> taxiways that's for sure. Um, but uh, GMAX definitely is a little bit more complicated than uh, Google SketchUp, and so I'll take a time to uh, get used to it. Uh, but it's a uh, pretty, uh, it's a pretty impressive program once you start getting the hang of it. So after uh, we get some taxiways laid out and stuff, we'll head into GIMP and start creating some textures to be applied to them. Uh, I'll be probably doing an asphalt texture and a concrete texture just to kind of give cover a range of things. Um, Again, with all the markings and where to go on, go with that. Um, then we'll be jumping back into GMAX and uh, figuring out how to apply them to our taxiways. Uh, it's a pretty involved process; takes a little bit of patience and time, but it's a pretty cool effect in the end. And of course, you have to export it all. We'll uh, open up Model Converter X and uh, bring in our model and get it all ship ship shaped and ready to. Uh, be placed in Flight Simulator. But anyhow, I hope this turns out to be useful for a series of tutorials for everyone. This is, it really can be quite fun after you get the, the hang of it. Um, quickly here I'll mention my Facebook page, SAS Creations on Facebook there. I post the links to all the videos I create um, as well as other pictures of my projects and what I'm up to. Uh, and also as well if any of you would like to post pictures of your models or whatever you've been up to, by all means, please do. I'd love to see them. It's always great to see what other people are up to. Um, as well as questions, you can ask questions on Facebook as well. Um, also on YouTube, comment or ask questions. I'll do my best to answer them. I don't check YouTube quite as often as Facebook, but I'm always around eventually. <laughs> So anyhow, yeah, just uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll try and keep you updated on things, and hopefully I'll get these videos on the road here pretty soon. All right? Thanks.